Farmer Fantastic here for Farm Facts, ready to show you how to plant some Rangpur limes. Well, you may be asking yourself, what the heck on God's green earth is a Rangpur lime? Well, you see, it's like a cross between an orange and a lemon. Bad. You see, back when Jesus was roaming the earth, there were three types of citruses. There was the citron, the plumelo, and the orange, or the mandarin. Bad. Citrus comes from India and Southeast Asia. Bad. Now we had these three special native citrus, and you see, well, they all got a little friendly with each other, and that's how we ended up with all these natural hybridized, like the Rangpur lime. Bad. I most recently planted these here, Meyer lemon on the left, and Hamlin orange on the right. In case they feel like getting a little special themselves, I got that little shagging palace back there for them. <laughs> Bad. I done chosen this spot right here because it meets the three S's. Plenty of sun. Plenty of soak. And plenty of soil. Now that you have all your spots picked out, you got your sun, your soak, and your soil. Time to pick out the right tools. You're gonna wanna grab yourself one of them pointy shovels. Not one of them flat shovels, one of them pointy shovels. Bad. You're gonna take that damn there rang per sucker. You're gonna find out just where you want him. All right, I think we're gonna plant him right about here. Let's take my shovel, find out how far them branches go out. Mark that in the dirt. And that's how far I'm gonna build this hole. Bad. Now careful as you're digging here because you can snag this on a root, pop this off, snap it right back through your face. That's how we lost Olivia. Bad. Ah, shoot, you know what? I was afraid of this. Diglets. Diglets love a good sun, soil, and soak. Bad. Thankfully, our dog Sadie loves a good diglet. Sadie, come here. Come on. Get that diglet there, girl. Get that diglet. Go get that diglet, girl. Go get that diglet. Most doges can eat a diglet in about one or two bites. Bad. All right, we got our nice dugout hole clear of diglets and roots. It's high noon. Best time of day to plant your Angkor limes. Let's prep them for the hole. Bad. You want to carefully take it on its side. Give it a couple gentle pushes. Flip her on upside down. Plop her down. Now she don't look too root bound. She's looking pretty sweet. Bad. We're gonna take a little bit of this excess off here. All right, now I can't see much of a graft line on this one, probably about right here. You want to make sure that she don't go deeper than the graft line. Bad. We want to remember how we wanted her before. We can't have her more than about that deep, so we're going to push some of this here sandy loam back in. And we probably want them sitting about right here. Bad. There we are. We got her nice and covered. We didn't go too high. We didn't go above that graft line. Well, congratulations. You got that beautiful Rangpur lime in the ground. Now, how do we take care of that sucker? Make sure your rangpur has got plenty of water for those hot days. Bad. I mentioned before that these rangpurs like to sleep around a little bit. Bad. Give them a Persian lime. Rangpur limes get awfully sad without some sunlight. I recommend an 1100 watt sad lamp. Bad. There you go, little buddy. You're gonna need to do something about pest control. That ought to get rid of the bigots. Bad. Rangpurs really love music. I recommend Bach Cello Suite Number One, The Prelude. Bad. Farmer Fantastic here. It's been Farm Facts. Thanks for watching. Such a pretty little bird. Look at all these little pretty baby fruit. Look at all them little pretty, pretty baby fruit. Hi, bee. Hi, little bee. Right there is Rupert. Rupert.
Cooper keeps an eye on everything for me.